um, and this is also out of the UK. I, I don't know whether it was in response to this person um, coming out, but um, I, I don't have what the source is here. And for whatever reason, it's frozen on my screen, but um, uh, express, is. it's express. Thank you, Trayvon. Express, yes. So um, anyway, there's they actually they, eight areas for adults yeah. on the spectrum. I'm trying to find the, the list of the eight. I've got I've got the beginnings of them. I can't scroll past. So if you if I, I have them, I'm trying to get to the sixth one. I have. But I found this list interesting because I I we're gonna read these so that people have them, but it's not comprehensive, and I'm gonna explain why in a minute. So keep that in mind as we read these. Do you want to start them, Nancy? Sure. Finding it hard to understand what others are thinking or feeling, getting very anxious about social situations finding it hard to make friends or prefer to be on your own, seeming blunt, rude, or not interested to others without meaning to. You want to take the rest? No, because I can't. My, my oh, won't finding it hard to say how you feel, taking things very literally. For example, you may not understand sarcasm or phrases like break a leg, having the same routine every day and getting very anxious if it changes liking to plan things carefully before doing them. Okay. So there's the, the, those are lists that are warning signs. However, before we all go off the deep end, because I think most of us are going to go, wait a second, you just described me, right? Um, it's very important to note, and here's the part that gets left out all the time, is that in order to get a diagnosis, SD, which is an autism disorder, notice that word disorder at the end, in order to get that diagnosis, these things have to occur at such a level that it, it, it makes it impossible for you to be productive in your life. So, it, so at the end of each one of these, we should say to such a degree that you can't work and, and you know, keep uh, a roof over your head and keep a friend. So Finding it hard uh, to understand what others think or feeling, that's all of us, right? But if it is at such a degree that you have never been able to keep a job and you've never been able to keep a friendship or, or any kind of relationship for any length of time, then that's something you want to be discussing with somebody. Getting anxious about social situations. Again, we've all gotten anxious about a social situation. But if you have had it to the degree where it has debilitated you to the point where you couldn't breathe, where you passed out, where you, you continuously have said, I'm not going to things so you can't work outside your home, you know, um, and that you are unable to attend your best friend's wedding, right? If it's at that level, it's important. It doesn't mean you qualify for the diagnosis, but it means you need to go in and talk with someone. And if all of these things are cooking along in a way that are preventing you from accessing your life and the things that you'd like to do, then we're talking about something. It may be ASD, it could be something else because it could just be social anxiety. But just keep in mind, because I think a lot of times we go, oh, well, you know, if, you know, this is a sign of autism, um, but it doesn't mean that it's a, a be all end all. Does that make sense? So, but I thought it was an interesting list uh, worthwhile to look at. Thanks for watching Autism Live. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.